Hi guys, welcome back to Soma. This must be episode 6, I'm supposing. We've just made it into Upsilon, and um, still trying to get a feel for what in the tarnation is going on around here. This might not be such a bad time to do a very quick recap. Before I go touching on all, all the many, many buttons there are over here. So, Simon Jarrett is the main character. That's me. I can't see me. I can't see what kind of jeans I'm wearing. But uh, he was in an accident a long time ago. And then he found a bunch of guys that uh, might be able to help uh, with the treatment of these of his new newfound brain damage. So he goes into their office to get himself a brain scan. And uh, then he wakes up in this weird ass place here. And it turns out that this is underwater somewhere. Okay, you're following me so far? We go, we wake up somewhere underwater. We find out that we're underwater as we're traveling from a place where I, I figure is called Omicron, which is a part of this giant ass complex. And we're now in Upsilon. You can kind of see that through the window over there yonder. This appears to be some kind of a power plant. I, uh, I, in the end of the last episode, if you've been following along, we were able to achieve some kind of contact with somebody inside, I'm thinking here, or somewhere within this world. And it'll be kind of nice to maybe get a couple of answers if indeed we ever do meet this person. Uh, and it appears that these robots um, think they're alive. And it appears that I might be able to interface a little teensy bit with some of this weird looking kind of organic probably more technical kind of things. There's probably nano machines involved. I don't know. Shit. Anyway. I was about to push a button. Uh, we got coolant. We got turbines going at 3600 RPM. Everything seems to be pretty cool. Doors are unlocked. Yeah, I'm still kind of conflicted about having to pull out, I'm guessing the power cords uh uh, that this robot had right there and right about there. I'm, I'm, yeah, man. It sounded so sad that that I pulled it out. But what am I supposed to think? You know, a robot is connected to another robot. What am I supposed to think? It said it was happy, but is that only because it was getting or siphoning power somehow? Is that what happiness is for a robot? Anyway, what a setting here, huh? Upsilon appears to be the power plant. Uh, <clears throat> Systems, Upsilon standard, oxygen unavailable, station diagnosis unavailable. Production, power restored, production. Is that power or... Anyway, recorded downtime, 143 days, 11 hours and a couple of minutes. Energy production, okay, good. Transformer status is that. That's good. Structure. Okay. Multiple breaches. Sector A, D, G, J, and K. That's most of them. Base structure, subcoat, minor perforation. Armor. A couple areas abandoned. And okay. I mean, a couple of couple of details, but I don't know how much that's going to relate to what I'm actually going to be doing here. Whoa. <laughs> that goes down, huh? We must be, um, this must be like some kind of a thermo, thermal generation, um, kind of electricity. Utilizing thermal vents in the ocean? Is that it? Is that future-y enough? I guess that's realistic. It's, uh, it's an easy thing to expect that, um, the future is going to be so completely different than what it's going to be like um, I mean in reality yeah so the power is kind of spotty I expect the power is going to go out any minute now any old friggin minute we're in a power station after all there can't be power here I can't do anything with you okay you're a ladder I'm going to use that ladder in a moment but I gotta see over here. <laughs> yeah, you see? Yeah, let me get to a corner. Alright. 
<sighs> okay, okay. We are still alive. Still alive and not at all identifiably dead. That is the definition, right? That's locked. We got this weird growth. I'm expecting at some point that's going to be explained. I don't know if this is necessarily biological. Or if it's mechanical or if it's both. Like I said, it could be nanomachines. Who knows if they have nanomachines in the future. I betcha they do. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this sounds kind of bad. This sounds pretty bad. Um. Uh-huh. Okay. I can't quite get a feel for where exactly Stompers is coming from. Okay, there. Boy. So, it seems there's a monster around here. Jeez. Do you see that thing? <laughs> that thing is in here with me, man. What the hell am I gonna do? <laughs> There's a little bit of glitching that indicates that, um, well, that indicates something. I don't really need the glitching to tell me that there's a rope, that there's a terrible thing in here. Okay, so it's all the way over there. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where I need to go. And at times it moves faster. Maybe that's just it turning around? Uh, uh. Yep. Okay. Okay, maybe it's maybe it moves in a circle. How about that? We're going to hold here. I don't know if it's actually covered in eyes. It kind of looks like it is. At least from the brief glimpses I've taken just before. We're going to remain crouched. I'll tell you what. Oh, can I see sort of its vision cone? That's interesting. Okay, we're gonna try to... We're gonna try to go for it over here. I'm gonna try to hide over here. Whew! Maybe a little bit of progress, how about that? haven't been gotten by the robot just yet. I'm expecting I need to get onto the other side of the room, but I'm not exactly sure what part of the other side of the room I need to go find, so... Luckily, <laughs> luckily, they're giving us something real easy to work with so far. I'm real glad. Because I don't feel immensely capable of handling anything a little bit more complicated right now. Oh. It's not headed this way, is it? No, I can I can kinda see its vision cone a little bit. Yeah, there. Okay, okay. Okay, it's following along. Oh boy, no. Okay. Okay, no, I think I gotta kinda follow it. Okay, okay. I think that's going to be the plan. Okay. Because I think what we need to go see is better accessed from, like, this side over there. You see? Yeah, see, that's what I need over there. There were some stairs that I just didn't really get a chance to look at. Oh. 
Take your time, buddy. I'm not in a rush. Uh-huh. Slowly, slowly. I don't know if I... Oh, this looks like it's a bad spot. This is probably a bad spot. Doesn't look immensely capable of running. <laughs> sorry, I'm not. Sorry, I'm being quiet. I'm just kind of absorbing everything right now. I kind of like that. You can totally see what it's looking at. And that's that light, you see. Yeah, I'm running. That's right. Okay, I'm keeping an eye on you, buddy. <laughs> I gotta keep an eye. Does it know where I'm over here? Okay. Uh, what's going on? Oh, jeez. Weird. Oh, damn. I'm maybe not supposed to be in here. You know, I'm going to just stay here for a moment, though. Just in case, um, I don't know if the robot, Mr. Evil, is uh, interested in coming over this way? If he's still there? Uh. Is the robot still there? I can't see him. I can sort of hear him walking around. Okay, yeah, there he is. Oh, I'm beat up. <laughs> Buddy, do you need help? I don't know if there happens to be anything like a health kit around here, but maybe a health kit could be pretty nice. Oh. Well, okay then. Maybe I'm in maybe I'm in decent shape after all. I don't have a robot after me right now. Right now. Of course. <laughs> I have sustained battle damage. Uh-huh. Um So This sounds a little bit Oh. I bet you could. Okay, there's a whole lot of stuff that I could be looking at right now. I don't know if uh, I don't know if I'm in <laughs> the perfect condition to actually look at all of this. Man, this is some nice art. Ooh, Amy's sketchbook. I kind of want to look at more. Can can I open this up? No, ah, that's too bad. Huh. A lot of underwater stuff. I mean, I guess that's fitting given how underwater we are. We're very underwater. 
We're about as underwater as you can get. But what is this W-A-U thing? I mean, I've seen that before. Pathos buddies? Amy and Carl. They both look so kind of out of it down there at the bottom. Hmm. Okay, no, I thought I might have recovered for a little bit. Doesn't seem to be the case. Is there a you are here? That would... Hey, you are here. I'm looking at it. Okay, okay. It's, uh, it's about like 3 o'clock from the center. You are here. Okay. We're in the control station. We were in the transformer hall. That looks to be it. That looks to be where we were. That's about the shape. Uh, it didn't seem like I could really find much to look at. I didn't really take the time, now that I think about it, to look at much while I was being uh, sneaky, you know, around that robot thingamajig. Uh, so here, yeah, I guess we have to head around to the shuttle station? That's got a big circle around it. Um, okay. I would really like to have a copy of this to carry around with me and to, you know, have and to hold. What good is throwing things in this game? There, there can't be very much good. I mean, maybe as a distraction? That's a good question. Maybe as a distraction. This look all... Ugh, ugh. Always wear protective what? Gloves and boots while operating machinery. Well, that, that's just logic. That's just being careful. But yeah, how about, um, how about a med kit? Lockdown process initiated. Check terminal for details. Uh, wait a sec. I gotta check behind things. I can't, I can't forget. Login. Oh, no, I don't have an ID. Ah, oh, shoot. I'm gonna have to be looking for numbers now, aren't I? Well, okay then. For now, I don't have one. This is the same thing. I probably need a number for that door. Okay. Hey, check it out. I'm kind of limping. That's really kind of unfortunate, and it should not be that way. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty damaged. I should be limping. However, that's just mm, kind of sucks. Is this a gun? It looks like it could be a gun. And in a horror game like this, a gun could, uh, I don't know, it could, it could be nice. Keep hands clear. That's a good question, man. What did happen to the pilot seat? Why am I no longer in it? I could use some help. Um, well, okay. Uh, what are you guys doing? I don't know. I should be wearing gloves and stuff for this in the heavy machinery biz. What are you? Are you blind? It's me, Carl. Carl Semke. Wrangler? Any of this sound familiar to you? I know, actually. Well, thanks for being so helpful. It's not like I'm knocked out on the floor or anything. Um... Are you human? Shit. Did, did my body give it away? I try hard to save a mystery. Yeah, I'm human. Are you? Uh, my name is Simon. Do you know anything about this place? Oh, you knew. That makes us slightly less weird. Look, I'm obviously hurt. If you see anyone else around, just tell them where I am. Can... So, where uh... are you, exactly? Are you for real? I'm right here. See me waiting? Look at my hands. Hey! Buddy. Okay, okay, I, I'm just, I'm just gonna be, I, I'm not seeing it. I, I see a machine, a robot talking. What the hell are you looking at? I'm here, see? Okay, I, I just didn't expect you to look like that. You're really hung up on appearances, you know that? Huh. Huh, that's, that's odd. What's wrong with your everything? You were diving in sewage or something? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. This is probably a terrible idea. God, 
Can I undo that? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think. I'm sorry. I I think I pulled the wrong lever. Oh, don't sweat it. Just get me a doctor. Yeah. Okay. Um. I really want to follow orders, but <laughs> conveniently, I have no idea what the heck is going on. Um, but I'll tell you what, folks, <laughs> I'm going to keep stumbling around here. Um, it appears that we have filled another episode, so hey, thanks for joining me this far, folks. Uh, we're still alive, though barely. Uh, join me in the next episode. I'm going to try to help um, Carl. Is that what his name was? Um, Carl the Definitely Human. Yes, we're going to help Carl. Uh, join me for that, and I'll see you real soon.